Head coach Will Wade, his student athletes, Jaquan Lewis and Melvin Johnson. Coach, your thoughts on this afternoon's game? Well, I thought it was um, a tale of two halves. I thought the first half we were on our heels most of the half, and, and then the second half we came out and were ultra aggressive and, and, and really played uh, a, a, a good half of basketball, one of our better halves all year. It just took us too long to, to, to get into the, uh, to the flow of it. We got – uh, we only gave up two offensive rebounds the entire second half. We gave up nine in the first half to them, and we really pounded the glass in the second half. It just just, um, just, just didn't quite have enough. We, we battled back. I'm, I'm proud of our guys. We've been that way all year. We've been uh, resilient, and we've, we've always, we've always um, you know, just, just battled, battled, battled. But today we ran into a great team, uh, unbelievable performance by Heald there down the stretch every time they needed a big basket. He uh, he answered the bell. He's a he's a just a, a phenomenal player. Best best player I've I've seen in college basketball. Um, so uh, you know I'm proud of our guys. We just uh, you know just didn't quite have enough. Okay, we'll take questions from the floor. If you put your hand up, we'll get the microphone to you. Who's going to start? All right, on the right hand side, out side. Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma and Melvin. Can you talk about uh, what you guys did well defensively against Heald for 30 or so minutes and, and then what went wrong in the last 10 minutes? Um, I think he just missed shots. Uh, in the beginning of the game, Corey and Jordan just did a good job at arriving on the catch, uh, forced him to take some tough ones. And I mean, in the second half, they did the exact same thing, but instead the ball went in. I mean, he's a great player, so, you know, players make plays. Question in the middle on the right side. Coach, can you talk about the job Mike Gilmore did out there? He's someone who hadn't even gotten off the bench and on the brightest stage just went off. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, 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 I'm very proud of him. He's, um, he's been through a lot. It's been a rough, uh, you know, he started for us for the first part of the year and then he went from starting to not playing, but he's kept it unbelievable. Um, team attitude, and <laughs> he deserves something good to happen for him. So I'm, I'm really proud of him. We need to build off this in the off season, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled for him. He was, he was, he, he really rose to the occasion today. Got a question on the outside left. Uh, uh, John Hoover, the franchise. Um, the crowd was real, real heavy against you guys. You, you all seem to thrive on that uh, for Melvin. Uh, you seem to thrive on that in the second half. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, uh, the odds was against us. It was a win-win situation. Everyone pretty much counted us out. So, I mean, our back is against the wall, and when your back is against the wall, you got to do is fight. I mean, at one point, I didn't even hear their crowd, and I told the guys, you know, this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to get, have their crowd against them. It was quiet. Uh, our little 100 fans was extremely loud. That's all I heard at one point. I mean, that's all I could ask for when – the opposing team has 18,000 fans in, a, in attendance. Got a question on the right side. Jaquan Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma. Uh, you guys got so much out of the small lineup in the paint yesterday and then obvious, or the other day, and then obviously Mo and what he's able to do. But they handled you guys fairly well down there. What did you see them doing to counter what you guys wanted to do around the rim? I mean, they're really big and they're athletic, so it was – it was kind of hard with the matchups. Uh, they did a good job of staying inside the paint. Lat, I mean, Latin only had two blocks, but he affects so many shots when he's down there. You know, he his minutes have been down because of some foul trouble, but he played 28 minutes, and it's just – it's tough sledding in there. Those of you guys who have followed us all year, whenever there's a – we've just had trouble finishing down there. And, and um, we did a lot better in the second half, but – Latin's a big-time defensive game-changer for Oklahoma. If they can keep him on the court, they can win it all. If they can keep it on the court, they can, they can win it all. I think he's a big X factor for them. I told our team that last night. I, I, I still believe that. He's, he's a, he's a high-level defender, really good anticipation. Question on the rear, on the aisle. Myron Patton, Fox 25. Uh, coach and also Melvin, could for people who obviously have never – had to play a guy like Buddy Hill. Can you explain what it is that makes him so tough to stop when you know they're going to him and he still scores? <laughs> um, I mean, he's just 
He can get his shot off in so many ways. It's what I said yesterday. He just reads the screen so well. Um, we got tangled up a couple times down there, and he, we switched out, and he read the switch. But the other thing they do is they don't get enough credit for it. I mean, some of those – the kids Spangler and some of those other guys, like, they set really good screens for him. Like, they, they've got an unselfish team in the sense they set good screens. And they set them. Coach Kruger does a good job. Like, they – they they get so low and set them at such steep angles, it's really hard to maneuver through them. And he's going to have a little bit of space. And if you give him any space, it's we, – we came off and trapped him there at the end just to try to make him give it up. But, they, you know, he's he's really good at reading those things. No? Um, I mean, he has the, the ultimate green light. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's just hard to guard a player that, that makes shots consistently. I mean – it's easier said than done, but you just got to arrive on the catch and hope he miss at times. I mean, obviously, he logged in a lot of hours in the gym because, I mean, he shoots shots sometimes when he's not even looking at the basket. As soon as he touches it, he lets it go. So, I mean, it's all in his confidence and, I guess, his work ethic. We got a question on the front. Paul Woody, Richmond Times Dispatch. Melvin, uh, sorry, this is – you just played your last game. You're very clear-eyed. You're very – Strong of voice. Just wondered if you could talk about your career and what uh, what it's been like for you, how you feel now, and also if you would talk about what you saw in Jaquan this weekend and what you think he can do next year. Uh, I mean, I think I had a, a pretty good career, uh, a roller coaster. Great ride. career. <laughs> uh, roller coaster ride, but just uh, coming into this year, I really, uh, I really. Blocked all distractions, really locked in, and Coach Wade was there. He was a uh, big time disciplinary, hope, making sure I was doing everything the right way. And uh, I just told Jaquan in the locker room, please keep working. He's a big time player, as you can see. And I mean, next year he's going to be extremely dangerous when, you know, he has the green light and he's the leader of this team. He's going to be the voice, and he's only going to continue to get better. So for the most part, Jaquan, you know, the sky's the limit. So I just hope. They're back in this position next year and going even further. Got a question on the outside right. Yeah, Will, they hurt you early with some with some pick and roll dunks. Is that did you guys uh, were you hedging too much and you had to go back or and, and well, it sort of stopped after no, that. So what happened? Well, what we we covered it wrong. So they never throw it with the guy coming off the ball screen. So they always throw it ahead and throw it in. We were supposed to be denying ahead, but we didn't deny the, deny the pass ahead two times, so they just got it ahead and in. So they went to it again, but we denied the pass, and they realized we had kind of figured out what. But we were, we've gone over it in scouting. We just, we just we, we, we got confused a little bit, and, and we, didn't, we didn't do it. But you, they, they don't ever throw it directly hardly. They did it one time in the second half. They threw it directly. But we watched a bunch of clips. Of, we watched all their pick and roll. We watched a bunch of their stuff. They, they always throw it ahead and in. We were supposed to deny the pass ahead because we wanted to stay with the ball but we, we, we didn't deny it two times, and that, that, that's, that's what allowed the dunks. But when they went back to it, we denied it, and then they went away from it. Got a question on the front, and then we'll move across the aisle. Saquon, you had two outstanding games here. Uh, I know it's disappointing to come up short here. Could you talk a moment about what you now do to build on what you did here individually and what the team does collectively to improve for next year? We're going to take a few days off, and then we're just going to get ready to move on and get ready for next season. It's not really, not really much we can do after. We have a question on the aisle right here in front. James Hale, Sports Talk 1400, the ref. Jake, one, in the second half, you guys got into such a better flow. You almost had as many points in the first half. I mean, the second half that you had in the first half at the 10-minute mark. What was the big difference for you guys coming out of the locker room and in the second half? I mean, our energy. When we came out in the first, second, first half, we was a little slow and going through the motions. But in the second half, I mean, we, we didn't come here to lose. So we all had in the front of our minds that we're going to put up a fight. Got a question on the aisle, and then we'll go to the outside. Darnell Myrick, WVCW, for all three of you. Can you say that this season, from wherever you were at back in December and to be here in OKC for the NCAA tournament, can you say that this team is truly – over exceeding expectations? I would say we had a very good year. I'd say we had a very good year. We were picked fifth. We won the regular season, co-champions, and we won a game in the NCAA tournament. We'd have loved to have gotten 
to the Sweet 16, but I would say, you know, as a coach, you look at it and say, what's the max level of this team? And how close did we get it to its maximum level? And I think, you know, I think we got it very, very close to the maximum level. Now, that's a credit to our guys. It's a credit to Melvin, Jaquan, Mo, Corey, um, all, all those guys. But, but I, I would say this was coming into the year, not a lot of people thought we'd be here. And, and um, you know, this is certainly not where we want to, you know, we, we want to keep advancing in the future. But we've got to work harder. We've got to do some things better. And uh, we'll, we'll get back to work. That's what we do. We've got a question on the rear right side. Over here first. Back here. This is for uh, Coach on what Melvin addressed earlier. Uh, Greg Eklund, WCVE in Richmond. Can you talk about how your team handled the partisan environment? Yeah, I thought we were great. I mean, we've been really good on the road all year. We've really thrived on the road. Um, and uh, our, guys, our guys fed off that. We knew if we could get it close, I thought the fan, everybody would kind of get nervous in the arena. We could maybe flip it a little bit. But, um, you know, like I said, they, they just responded. They got the best player in the country, and, and he, made, he made huge, huge plays. So, um, but, uh, you know, our guys have been great all year in tough environments. And um, we, um, you know, we, we, uh, we, we responded well today. It's been a characteristic of our team all year. You know, we're down 13 at UMass at half, came back and took the lead. We're down 13 today at half, came back and took the lead. Like, we fight. We're tough. We're gritty. We fight. We fight, 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 fight. And so we just, we just didn't have enough. We just didn't have enough. But, but our, guys were, our guys responded really well in a, in a tough environment, really, really tough environment. Question on the outside left. Yeah, from from Melvin again. Um, early in the uh, midway through the first half, it's it's twenty one seven. It was fifteen five. You look at their starting lineup, and they've got seven points, seven points, six points, six points, and five points at that point in the game. Was that something of a shock for a team that has Buddy Heald, the National Player of the Year, twenty five points a game? To see that kind of balance, did that surprise you guys a little bit? Uh, it's demoralizing to an extent because coming to the game, of course. A lot of the attention is towards Buddy, and then, you know, his cast, Isaiah, Jordan, Spangler, et cetera, they all begin, uh, begin to have really well. And he's not, he didn't even score at, the, at this point. So we were just like, okay, well, Buddy eventually is going to continue to score. But we, uh, we're resilient. We, we kept fighting. Uh, we feed off Coach. Coach, you know, he'd get after us. He, he was extremely enthusiastic going in the locker room, and we just responded. We have a question on the aisle. Hey, Coach, Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma. And you talked about the crowd, but um, Jordan steps to the line for two there late, and the crowd just roars. Do you think that was a factor at all with him? No, I mean, you know, we, we'd made a bunch of free throws before that. So, I mean, um, you know, that's just, a, that's just that's the way it uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. That's, that's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, he'd stepped up and hit the front end of a one and one a little bit before that. So, um I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, we're, we've been pretty good at blocking that stuff out and hitting free throws. We have a breathing routine and some different things that we do. Just, 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 just didn't knock them in. Okay, coach. Thank you very much.